Hello everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome to 1213 Prescott Way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we post another video. A video. A video. Oh, 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 video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I guess I should take off my jacket so I have more mobility to chow down and I just want you to see my hair it's so cute so cute so cute so anyway I have my famous carrot dogs with um, ketchup mustard onions and relish too and then I ordered some um, vegetable spring rolls with sweet and sour sauce and my handy dandy water. So let's get into it. Okay. Oh yeah, thumbnail, thumbnail, a thumbnail. Or is this a better thumbnail? See you guys, just look at that. It's a carrot. Can you tell, can you tell? I had overcooked the carrot and it was real soft. So I wasn't sure if it still tastes like a hot dog, but it does. Mmm. 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 Okay. Let me taste this. Mm. Ask me why don't I ever remember hot sauce? I have a fun fact for you guys. I was just, um, <laughs> I don't know how it came up, but I was just perusing the internet. And, oh yeah, I was watching a video. Um, they were talking about the, the uh, astrological sign that would mostly be likely to unalive someone. And they were saying four of them. It was um, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Cancer, and let me see, Pisces. So me, I'm like nosy. I'm like, what? So I looked it up, and sure enough, it said, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Scorpio account for almost 40% of serial unalivers. And it says then Gemini and Taurus combined, combined together only account for 11%. So then the other signs are all scattered all over. Mm. Um, me being an Aries, I was curious. And mind you, my husband's in the bottom 11%, who's not likely. So now I don't have to sleep with one eye open. Mm. Well, it says, Anna Liber is born in the sign of Capricorn, 
accounted for more victims total and on average than these in any other sign. It says combined, they've unalived more than 800 people or 19 on average. And the lowest average was for Virgo unalivers with seven victims each. Um, it says the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio accounted for the highest number of unalivers and victims in, uh, in their anal an analysis. It says 28% of um, unalivers and 27% of victims. Um, and it says victims by unalived zodiac sign. For Aries, there were 411 victims, which is me, I'm an Aries. Taurus is 204 victims, Gemini 218. Cancer, 404, Leo, 351, Virgo, 269, Libra, 485. I was like, wow, that's more than an Aries, and that's my son. My youngest, he's a Libra, but I still can't see it. Mm. Scorpio, 537. <laughs> Sagittarius 350, Capricorn 813, Aquarius 622, and Pisces 461. So I'm glad Aries wasn't in the top half. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm like, does that really mean anything? I guess it does. I guess it means to me that, because you know, based on your sign, you do have uh, things in common with people under that same sun and moon. Um, so I just found that interesting. Hmm. I guess if you're under that certain sun or moon and then you are in that you come under those certain circumstances too that enhances your chances of becoming one like how you were raised and you know what I mean your background I guess your astrological sign doesn't help <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was um, also reading about this one boy. Well, he's the man. He's 20 now, but I think he was 16 at the time. Um, Kevin Bowie or something like that. He, <clears throat> he allegedly um, lost his phone, thought someone stole it, his iPhone. So him and his friends set out to pay back whoever stole his phone. So he tracked it, and he just tracked it in the vicinity of these houses. So him, them believing that it was this house that had his iPhone, they set it on fire and burned up the house and unalived five people that lived there, which they had nothing to do with his cell phone. And they said three jumped out the window to avoid the fire and broke some bones.
from the second story. Among the unalived are two children. I think they were like six months old and three years old or something. When I eat a hot dog, I like to have chips with it. And when I eat a hamburger, I like to have french fries with it. Mm. But nonetheless, it was delicious. Very delicious. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my little fun fact. I was just curious and I found it interesting. Even though it is a morbid topic, still found it interesting nonetheless. And also, poor family, because it was during the middle of the night while all of them were sleeping. And they decided to just go over there and just, let's just burn their house down. We don't care who's inside or if they are even the ones who stole it. They don't even know the family. They're, I believe they were Senegalese, Senegal, the family that lived there. And they had, um, it, there were, it was a family of five and that, you know, got unalived, burned up in the house or, you know, inhaled the smoke. And like I said, three escaped out of the second story windows by jumping out. Oh, so on that note, I am going to go. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we post another video. Video, 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 video. And have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And I will see you on our next video. Love you. Peace.